Before I talk about the hard drives I've got sitting on my desk, I've got nine hard drives on here. Before I tell you why I'm not going to be using them, let me give you a bit of a background what's going on with my C drive on my computer. Not that computer, I've got two computers sitting here. I've got one behind the camera, yeah, and one over here. It's this one that's causing me a problem. I was trying to set up a fee machine. It's a virtual machine, a, a computer inside a computer, in case you didn't know. I've already done it on that computer and it's running fine, no issues. There's a couple of settings you have to do, one or two settings in the uh, BIOS and a couple of adjustments on the software in Windows. They're quite easy to do, it's just basically a tick box and job done. But when I'd done it on that computer, I'd done the BIOS first, started it up and everything working fine, went into the software, done that, and then when I tried to set up the machine, it kept crashing. It would either, the screen would freeze up, I'd get a blue screen of death, which I couldn't read because it just shut down too quickly. I went into the V-log and checked all the log files to see what's going on and... Uh, wasn't coming up with anything that I could recognise. I checked the hard drives, I done a, a thorough check on hardware and everything seemed to be working fine, including the C drive. Didn't show up any issues whatsoever. And the other problem I was having is when it did crash, it wouldn't start up again. It would either say it's doing a repair, Windows repair, or it would be saying, can't find an operating system. Or just been using it. I know it's there. So... What I tried to do is remove the C drive because it's an M.2 and then push it back in again, just in case it's a loose connection and something like that. And then I finally got it working again. Everything's been all right since I haven't touched the machine. And I think it could be that. But I also know that M.2s do not have a very long lifespan. They only guarantee them up to five years, really. And I've had it, I think I've had that one for a couple of years in there now. So I'm wondering if it is on its way out. And just to be on the safe side, I thought I'm going to swap it out, put some new or a new C drive in there. Now I'm not sure which way to go, whether to put in another M.2 or an SSD. I was thinking more of an SSD rather than a. M.2. I know M.2s are a lot faster, but I need reliability as well, and I don't want to keep swapping them out after a couple of years. It's definitely not five years old, as far as I can remember. So uh, with that, let me go through the hard drives I've got sitting on my desk, and I'm going to explain to you why I'm not going to be using all or any of these. Like I said, I've got nine hard drives sitting here. The first one is the Western Digital Black. This is the P50. It's a gaming drive and it uses USB type C connection. And I believe this is a two terabyte one. And the reason I'm not using this is because, well, basically it's an external, although I could undo the screws and take it out, but I decided I didn't want to do that. So I'm not going to be using that, even though it has fast read write speeds and would be perfect for a C drive. So I'm not using that because it's a gaming drive, really. It's designed for you to put your games on there, Go around to your mates, plug it in, job done. Make sense? Yeah. I have a couple of SSDs. These are old SSDs. This is an Intel 320 series and it's 40 gigabytes. Now I know for a fact that Windows 11 64-bit, it needs 20 gigabytes just for Windows. And I thought, well, the time I put Windows on there, and some of my software will go in there, but most of my other software will go on other drives, and then all you do is you link them to that when you do the install, it does that automatically to Windows. So that takes up a little bit of space. That will probably fill up pretty quick, so I'm not going to be using that. The same again with the Evo. This is the 840 Evo. It's 250 gigabytes, and you would have thought, well, Yorkie, that one's all right, surely. Well, yeah, it is. But again, I think it's too small for, for me to use. I'd rather have at least one terabyte, or ideally two terabytes, for my C drive. That's what I prefer. Again, that's quite an old one now, so I'm not going to be using that. Now, on the big boys, these babies here, 
I have a Western Digital, and this is only an 80 gigabyte. So I'm definitely not using that, and I don't even know how old it is. It's pretty old, and it probably still works fine because it's a uh, it's Western Digital, and I know Western Digitals work really well. I've had no issues with Western Digital. Touch wood. You just know it's going to go wrong now, don't you? Seagate. Now I have in the past had trouble with Seagates. I have lost quite a bit of data a couple of times. So I'm reluctant to use a Seagate, even though I've got a Seagate here and I've got a backup Seagate for that computer over there for emergencies. And so far that's been all right. But I'm not, I'm not confident in using a Seagate. This is a Barracuda, it's 250 gigabytes. Again, it's a little bit on the sm small side as well, so I won't be using that. Now, this is a Western Digital Red. It's, it's a NAS drive or a server drive designed to go in servers or NASes. Now, the problem with something like this, even though it's got six terabytes on it, which is really good, is for this to run on my PC, you have to cover these three pins. Well, you have to cover the third one in from this side, yeah? So that there. And the reason for that, as far as I can remember, is if you don't do that, it won't get recognised in Windows. It will just loop and continue trying to do something. But we'll never get there. Because on a NAS or, and servers, they work a little bit different. So that's why I'm not going to be using that. I don't really want to cover it over, knowing that one day it might just come off you know, with a bit of tape or something that I'll cover it over with. I might accidentally knock it off and then I've got to mess about trying to fix it. But that would have been ideal. The other issue with something like that is they're not very fast at read writing because they're more reliable. And that's the same with these three. These is these three here I shucked or I done some shucking. I made some videos about it and basically they're in an ex external case for you to plug into your computer and you can transfer information from A to B, or B to A, depends what you want to do. Now I have two 10 terabytes and one 12 terabyte. I could use them, but I have the same issue. They're not very fast on read write, and also I've got to cover the three pins, and that's the same on all three. So that's a reason I'm not going to be using that. Now, I have a couple of questions to ask you. First one is, Am I right to thinking it's probably something to do with fee, fee machine setup? And second question is, because I'm still going to put a C drive in there at some point, maybe two actually. And the second one is, what ones? Should I go for M.2s or SSDs? I know they're basically the same, but they work slightly different and they plug in slightly different. M.2s will plug in in the little tiny slots, whereas an SSD will plug in in the power and a connectivity, which I'm thinking I will go down that road. I'm not going to use a hard drive for my, or a big hard drive for my C drive. I want to use either M.2 or an SSD. Let me know in the comments which one I should choose. So uh, with that, I'm not going to buy one just yet. I'm going to wait couple of weeks see what the results are from news lot and then I'm gonna go out and buy one and install it and uh, I'll make a video about it as well so with that let me know if you like this video by giving me the thumbs up if you didn't give me the thumbs down and uh, please subscribe thank you very much for watching